And I can tell that you wanted to like make a move, but you were scared. <laughs> All I know, that shit was a, a thirst trap, and guess who got trapped? Me. No, who does that? Like only friends do that. So. No matter what she was gonna say, like I was gonna pay for it anyway. So in today's video, we wanted to kind of talk about how we met. Today's story time. Story time. So I guess we can just go straight into like how we met each other and... We met at a very special place. A dating app. <laughs> yeah, because no one meets on dating apps these days, right? Um, so yeah, we met on Bumble. <laughs> so what was your first impression? My first impression? Of on the app. I think like her page came up and I was like, oh. Really? I was like, no, I, was just, <laughs> I got excited. So I was like, okay, she's cute. And then I'll, I like literally the first thing I see on your profile, like in her biography or not biography or her about me section literally says, I'm just looking for friends. Like that's like, <laughs> all, that's all. I mean, I was like, you know, unfazed. I was okay, like, okay. I do that only because I don't like the pressure of dating. And I feel like when you meet girls or you meet anyone on dating apps, it just like, it's better when you meet as friends because there's less pressure. True. And I, I like to be friends first. I was surprised that she said that she was 5'6 on her profile. Cause like, <laughs> I'm like, what kind of Asian girl is 5'6? Like, I, I just haven't, like, I play basketball my whole entire life. So I'm, like, used to being around really tall people and just, like, tall girls. So when she put on her profile 5'6, I was like, bro, she she's cap. This is cap. Like, I literally did not believe that she was 5'6. So I was like, hey, whatever. But anyway, what was your first impression of me? Um, so when I was on, the first thing that stuck out, honestly... <laughs> Jeez, I feel like you're gonna roast me. <laughs> no, it was a good thing. It's like you said that you were a lawyer. So I was like, okay, she's a lawyer. <laughs> so I like that. Barely. <laughs> um, honestly, I like, I just go through apps really fast. So when I was like going on yours, I just like noticed your music and that you're a lawyer. Like I oh, honestly yeah, music, don't definitely. remember much of your profile. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I thought you were cute. So I was like, okay, whatever. I didn't think much of it. That was my first impression, if I can like really think about it. And, and I definitely uh, messaged her first because she was definitely not going to reach it and say, hey, what's going on? And then we were like talking on Insta. And then we I... were talking a little bit on Bumble first. Yeah. And then she asked for my Instagram. Yeah. And then it was very like on and off. Like it wasn't anything serious. Um, and I know like we were really back and forth and like, I don't know, wishy-washy. Okay, I got cold, so I put on a jacket. <laughs> We back, we back. She would say like, oh, let's hang out. And I'd be like, yeah, I'm down. But like nothing would happen, you know? So I think it, that happened like three times. I don't know about I, like, three I would, times. Yeah. Maybe, like, maybe like twice. Like twice. And then like you told me you only, you like actually hit me up because you saw like a picture of me. Like I posted a picture of myself and then she oh. met. <laughs> oh yeah. And then oh. she messaged me and hold she on. was like, okay, let's hang out. And I'm like. So hold on, to be fair, I feel like I'm going to say this for all, for, just because we're all thinking it, if you know her in real life. She posted a picture, like, in her, like, in spandex and, like, her sports bra. I was working out really hard. That was my <laughs> celebration picture. <laughs> all I know, that shit was a, a thirst trap, and guess who got trapped? Me. No, it wasn't because a thirst trap. Because I messaged my her. My little brother took that from me. <laughs> Still, either way, you know, like, I was, like, casually scrolling on Instagram, and I was like, God Damn! I was like, oh, I need to message this girl. So I was like, what's doing tonight? <laughs> it's a I think so it was, stupid. if you look at the timestamps, it was literally like the day before we like hung out and I like messaged her. And I was so that like, was her motivation. <laughs> that gave her the strength to actually message me and like pick a date. <laughs> oh, I was motivated. I was motivated for sure. So, or I was like, hey, like, let's hang out. I had like just gotten off a court call and I was like so YOLO ready and I was like hey what are you doing today and she was like confused because she thought we were gonna hang out the next day yeah she, she asked me when do you want to hang out and, and I said Friday and then you're like oh no I'm too busy like I have something going on can we do Saturday and I was like yeah sure whatever it's cool like I'm down the next following week passed and then it was Friday and we were just messaging and I think that's when you messaged me like about my picture or like a song I don't remember and you're like when are we gonna hang out like are we gonna hang out or what you said something like super flirty and like super like Filipino okay you know what we need to pull all the Filipinos I'm like, to the side and just be like you know it's not just being Filipino that's why I thought she was like playing games I was like I already offered Friday now you can hang out on Friday all of a sudden like what's going on but I was like okay whatever like, I'm, I'm down like we can hang out I asked her out and I was like, okay, well, let's, let's hang out tonight. And I was like, let's meet at this pub. <laughs> She's already mad at me because, okay, if I'm you guys know mad. me, if you guys know me, I'm like, oh, yeah. Always, I'm like always late. Okay, I, this is another thing that 
you weren't playing games, but I was just like, this girl like is so <laughs> like she can't choose what day she wants to hang out. And I'm always on time. Like when yeah, I was getting ready, like are. I remember very punctual. Thirty minutes before a date, I was already ready. I was just like on my phone, and you were like text me like I'm so sorry, girl. And that's another thing too. Okay, let me talk about the timing thing first. <laughs> She's like, I'm gonna be 15 minutes late. Can you give me more time? And I was like, Yeah, that's cool. I live far. People are I late. Far. Um, but 15 minutes passes by, and I'm like about to leave, and she goes, I'm so sorry, sis. <laughs> okay, I did not call you sis. I was like, Hey, I'm girl. Sorry. I'm sorry, sis. Like, I need another 15 minutes. I'm running late, and I'm like, Oh my god, like that's my pet peeve too. Like when people are late, I'm like, So many red flags already. I okay. <laughs> so it's that, and she's like already calling me sis and girl. Okay. Like, who does that? Like only friends do that. So I'm like, oh, okay, we're gonna be friends. <laughs> I never even thought about like I. In retrospect, now that she tells me all this, I'm like, okay, I see, I see what you mean. <laughs> I we we finally like meet up, and I tell her I'm like, hey, like I'm ready because I got there. Well, I already knew where I was going, so like I was sitting already on the at like at a table just waiting for her. And I remember calling you too. Oh, you called me, right? I think I must have called you. I think and you I think called me because I remember like. I'm usually the one that's like more confident on dates I feel like when I'm dating girls yeah. and that's like so annoying to me because I just want someone like to pick a place and usually when I'm on dates too I'm like the one that's con carrying the conversation yeah. and I remember when I got there you called me and I was like oh she's really like confident and like yeah, forward. forward like yeah. she's not afraid to call someone because people are worried about that but so. I remember I picked up and you were like confident and I liked your voice that was like my first that's impression so that, I was that, like oh okay that makes sense because yeah. I would I think I did call you too because yeah. I was like hey like I think I'm I remember here you calling me. I'm like here like outside like if you want like, yeah. like I feel like it's so much easier than like you guys being <laughs> awkward and like because you guys have never met before and then it's like you don't know who you're looking at you don't know who to expect yeah. and then my first impression was like i was shook because i was like damn she's tall or damn she's like actually five six she's actually the height that she listed on her bumble and i was like surprised because i feel like i never meet asians that are taller than me I'm not saying i'm like i'm not like super tall i'm like five five. five five i'm five five i'm five five that's like i feel like normal normal height but usually taller than most filipinos and girls don't lie about their heights on dating apps that's only guys well, either way, I was shook that she was... That was number one impression. And then number two, I was like, damn, she's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I was surprised because, you know, like, your pictures are, like... Your pictures are good, too, but you just... I look better in person. I get that all the time. You never know. Yeah. So my pictures are ugly. <laughs> I feel like my, I'm better, like, in person, too, just because... I don't know. I feel like my, I don't like care too much about my pictures too. Anyway, so it was a very pleasant surprise because I feel like a lot of people like I don't know. I'm, I'm a big How about personality person. wise, like your impressions. Oh, I'm gonna get there. I'm gonna get okay, there. Okay. But at least like aesthetic wise, I was already like I'm all about. <laughs> it sounds so trash, but like the oral cavity, like just like <laughs> like teeth, smile, like she thought I had busted teeth. No, I was just scared because <laughs> in all of her pictures, she's like, you know, like. <laughs> This smile where like they're not showing their teeth, so I'm just like, I'm so scared they're gonna have like buck teeth or I don't know. So I was just being judgmental. But she had brought up a great point because I feel like she's used to like being like the person in control or like taking initiative or whatever, but she never met me. That's why it's funny. Because yeah. I feel <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, that was like my first impressions of you. Like you were very energetic and like you had such high energy and confidence. And I liked your smile, just your voice. Being, just being me. But you were boots of heels <laughs> okay yeah i was she i had she was almost my height i had like a date uniform at that time so i was like always wearing the same outfit i'm like not afraid i can literally talk to a tree if i have to so like i'm not afraid to meet someone for the first time and like kind of like i'll say like analyze the way they talk but i'm just like so curious to like hear your opinion usually when i'm on dates like i'm asking all the questions and they don't ask anything back and i'm like okay i'm just interviewing you yeah like what's one going way on? So no, I can definitely tell like I you feel were, like, like reciprocating conversation. It was yeah. really nice. No, and I can I feel like when I would like look you in the cause like I'm such a person that when I'm like talking to you, it doesn't even matter if I'm on a date or just talking to like a person I just met or friends, like I'm gonna give you eye contact. And like you can always tell when someone's like afraid or nervous or whatever because they like look yeah, away. Yeah. And like she was like, You can make me straight it was like <laughs> eye to eye. I was like, Oh damn, like you know, you could you can feel that energy, you know. So I was like <laughs> loving it. Cause I was like, oh like someone that's not intimidated me someone that's not afraid and like i don't know matching my energy for sure and i don't know we're like talking and she's like you know we're bouncing off each other we have good vibes yeah, yeah it was it was That's dope vibes i remember you know like we don't even know each other and so we're like you know talking getting to know each other and then all of a sudden in the corner of my eye i see like three guys coming up to us and i was like <laughs> 
<laughs> but I was already like, oh my god, like, who the, who are these guys, right? And I was like, just she brought a bunch of dudes to to our date. Well, actually, I thought I was like, damn, do you come here often? <laughs> well, I mean, I did. Like, it was like the one spot like during COVID that I knew that like I can always come to. So like a couple of me and my coworkers, like we would go there like all the time. Like, I don't know, just just to get drinks because it was outside. And so we had I had ran into these guys maybe like two weeks ago prior. And anyway, nice people. But I just you it was know. super awkward because obviously it was our first time uh, meeting <laughs> and these guys were they thought they were friends. <laughs> so they thought that we were friends so that's why they wanted to join there i think they were yeah. like trying to get at us or like yeah. double date so there was like two or three guys yeah sitting with us for like a good while like 30 to 40 minutes to be fair to be fair like when i had ran into them like a couple of weeks prior to that i was with my actual co-worker who's my friend and like they were like trying to hit on us the whole time so i feel but like i didn't know that so i don't want to be rude and like yeah <laughs> like tell your friends like get, get the fuck out of yeah, here yeah get away yeah no but i mean but that's why like i was trying to be like try not to have them hang out with us because I was like, I knew like, I don't know, I was like, they were with us for like 40 minutes. I was vibing with you, but I <laughs> wanted them to leave, but then they ended up sticking around. Yeah, so anyway, they were around I for like- I bought a drink, so it's okay. Yeah, so they were around for like 40 minutes. And then finally, I think like you and I were able to like, I don't know, escape, <laughs> escape. <laughs> and then like, I don't know, then the night got better because then I feel like we were like kind of vibing more. And then like, I, my friend shout out to Christina, if, if you're watching this, but she showed me this like, like, you know those, like, I don't know, those, like, pendulums? So I was, like, showing her. I was, like, playing with her hands. I was, like, here, let me show you this pendulum. And, like, yeah, that's probably, like, it. when the night turned back to, like, more, like, flirty. date. Yeah. Date and flirt, flirty vibes. Well, um, okay, so during, like, the pendulum part, like, we were just talking all nonchalant. And she, like, busts a random-ass <laughs> pendulum out of her bag. And, like, she comes, like, next to me. And then she starts, like, swinging it. And she was, like, here. She's, like, grabbing my hand. She's, like... Let me show touch you my pendulum. <laughs> I can tell like she's trying to impress me, <laughs> but it was like cute. It was funny. I, I was trying to teach you, you know, about this like stones and sp spirits and I don't know. But I, I I thought it was a good move. That was like the first hint, like you were like trying to like start something. Yeah, because I, I never start anything. I'm just like I'm really go along with the flow kind of person. Yeah, you know? like I'm not like flirty at all. Like, yeah, I have no game. <laughs> I, she, she, you do, you do. It's just like in your own way, but definitely like I could feel like that. Those were her vibes though, like for sure. Up up until that point, was like she was just like chill and laid back. And I, I guess if we were both, I, it was weird. I guess weird in the sense that like four. We were like sense. friends in the beginning. Yeah, it did feel a little bit friendly towards. The, but yeah, then and we were hanging out, guys. So yeah. it was like I don't know, but we were we connected really well. We had like the same energy, and yeah, um, it was easy to talk to you. Like the pendulum came, and then. The waitress came and she like gave us the bill. And in my head, like just from my perspective, like no matter what, she was gonna say like I was gonna pay for it anyway. Cause I in my head I was like I, I'm gonna pay for it because I asked you out. I told you like we're gonna celebrate you. Like cause you just she just passed her boards and I was like dude like that's really dope. Even if we're just friends, like even if nothing was gonna happen, like I was already down to like pay. And yeah, I was really impressed. I didn't even realize. I like that. I mean, you're a lawyer. You better be. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, and that's I'm like. Just kidding. I definitely felt like you, I don't know. No, I felt bad. Like I, cause the bill was like, it wasn't cheap. Like it was actually pretty pricey. It was like, it was like, it was like almost. I thought it was like around like, like 80, 80, 200. 80, 200. But 200. like during that, it's not too bad. I don't bad. know. I felt like when I go on dates, like I don't know if girls like you don't know who's gonna pay or not. And I felt like most of the time I do pay. I think. Really? I think. No way. Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes. <laughs> Maybe because it was just like your confidence and you didn't like think twice about it. You're like, yeah, oh, I got it. No, I didn't. And, like, even... I like that about you. Yeah. No, I definitely wasn't. Like I said, I asked her out. I wanted to celebrate her even though I don't, we don't know each other. But that's like my, that's just who I am. Mm -hmm. It's, uh, I understand why some people would like want to split. It was maybe like closer to pushing one, almost like 1 a.m. Yeah, and then we, we were there like, for a long time. And then we had like left. When I go out on dates with girls, like, I just want to know. Like, I'm just curious. Yeah. Like, um, what's the sexuality? Mm -hmm. And I didn't really get... I mean, I got, like, super gay vibes from you, but people can, like, <laughs> act gay. What the... What but does that even mean? Still, like, I don't know. It's just, like, your personality. You had... She had asked me, yeah, what my sexuality was, and I... What did I even say? I don't even like asking this question because I don't like labels either, but I just wanted, like... I was like, oh, are you... So are you gay? Are you, like, bi? Whatever. And then I think you said... 
the sand keeps hitting me in the face. I forget. I forget what you say exactly. I, I think, think you I said. S- I think that you said that I'm bi and I'm trying to have fun, but I'm gonna marry a guy. Yeah, yeah <gasps> that's what you said. You said that you were bi and that, but <laughs> so crazy. I don't even think you said you were bi. You were just like, oh, like I'm just having, having fun, fun, but I think like at the end of the day, I'm gonna marry a guy. And then I was like, red flag. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay, we're gonna be. That's see, that's another like reason why I thought like we were gonna be friends. I get that. Because you were talking so much, like, it kind of zoned out. And you were, like, talking about, like, a <laughs> guy. So I thought you were just straight. You were talking about, like, dating girls, too. So I was kind of confused. But I dated girls who, like, date girls just for fun. Like, they're not, they don't date them seriously. And you saying, like, oh, at the end of the day, like, I'm going to marry a guy. And then I was like, oh, okay, we're, gonna, we're probably just going to be friends. And it was cool, because like, I liked your personality and we got along. Red flag. <laughs> but then so I asked... red flags. I asked here. <laughs> hey. And then I asked her... And I was like, well, what about you? And then literally, like, without even taking a breath, she was like, oh, I'm gay. And I was like, God damn. It was so refreshing. Probably like, the most refreshing thing I had heard. And that's why I felt so comfortable with but, you. But, like, the truth is, is, like, I'm not, like, completely, like, yeah. I, I don't only like girls. Like, I dated a guy for five years, and I'm, like, yeah. actually bi. But I date more girls, so that's why I just say that, because it's easier. And I feel yeah. like a lot of girls try to pretend I'm not saying you like they yeah. just try to pretend to date both and or like it feels more comfortable saying bye so yeah. I like to just say like I'm gay I don't, I don't really care like I don't care about labels and yeah. usually when I say that they're always like they're like oh okay like yeah like I'm gay too and I'm like, yeah oh, okay all of a sudden, sudden, you're, all sudden gay. you're gay <laughs> just because I said I'm gay yeah. when she said it like right away I yeah. mean I, I didn't change like my answer I just was like oh no, no. I, oh that's cool like I like I said I thought it was super refreshing because I feel like up into the up until that point, like I had never really met someone that was just like, oh, I'm gay. I was just trying to fill her out too because I wasn't yeah. really sure. We're like leaving the bar because everyone's starting to leave. And I parked, like, let's say to the right, and she parks to the left. And I didn't know where she parked, so I just told her, I was like, oh, like, where'd you park? And like, we were already like kind of like <laughs> starting to drift away or something. And I was like, oh, I parked over here. And she was like, oh, I parked over here. And then I swear if I didn't say anything, like to follow up, she was like so close to being like, okay, bye. And I was like, no, I did say that. Oh, you did say that. Yeah, you did. She was like, okay, bye. She literally was like, And I like walked to my car. And I literally was like, wait, wait, wait. I was like, do you want to ride? I literally was like, I feel like I'm reaching now, right? We're not reaching, but I was like, obviously trying. Cause I was like, you want like me to drive you to your car? It was late. It was at 1 a.m. But she was like, I gotta get this moving. We then you were down. She was like down. She's like, yeah, sure. And so then she, no, we walked to my car, I opened the door for you, and then we drove to her car. So, and then, you know, we're just sitting. spit moves. Well, we were sitting there just like talking for like a long time. Dude, at this point, it was like two and o'clock. I showed her a song and she fell in love with me. It was Georgia Smith. Georgia Smith, you play Georgia Smith, I'm gonna fall in love. You were being a weenie. I was not being a weenie. I was, I, I had felt like. I was tired of making the first move. I feel like I always make the first move. <laughs> I know, move. I'm the worst. I am the worst. Because I don't like, I have no game and I don't like to make the first move because I feel like, I don't know, it just makes me feel uncomfortable. Like I'm, I'm scared of rejection, so I just don't even try. But when you invited me into your car, like it was obvious that you wanted to kiss me and like you paid for the bill. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to kiss her first because I never... Lay it on, boy. <laughs> I'm pointing. Sorry. <laughs> Um, we were just like talking for, we were in the car for another hour. Like, <laughs> we were there for like a whole day. <laughs> but we were just talking again yeah. and like playing music. And I can tell that you wanted to like make a move, but you were scared. And there was like a point we were just like staring at each other. We were just like looking in each other's eyes. <laughs> like this is so gay. <laughs> like I'd rather just like kiss because we're like gazing at each other. Well, and I- then... I and okay so then we were like staring at each other and then she like finally goes oh why do I have to do it why do I have oh, why to do, do it? I have to make well, I said why do I always have to make the first move and no then, you didn't say that you were just like uh, oh why do I have to do it and I like I already know what you meant so I was just like yeah you, like, you literally pulled me <laughs> you looked- yeah and then she went home I went we home. went our separate ways and then we hung out the next day <laughs> Yeah, we hung out the next day. I like never um, done that with anyone. Because we were originally gonna hang out on Saturday. You were super oh, down you're too. So obsessed with me. Chill, chill, chill. No, I was like, yeah, sure. We were originally gonna hang out anyway, so why not? I'm literally never that was had. like five dates put into one. Like if you yeah. were to compare it to anyone else's dates, because it was so long. Oh, well, eight. So I guess it was only. It like was like eight to five th- hours. Three a.m. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, eight to eight to like two. Eight to like two thirty. Six hours. It just shows like how comfortable we we were with each other that mm-hmm. even though we were with each other for a long time, it didn't feel like that. It felt like it felt so natural. And I had told her this in the beginning too that like 
I never felt so comfortable with someone that I, like a stranger that I had just met. Mm-hmm. And so I think from the get go was like it was dope. Yeah, it was, was really like easy, super, super easy personality. And we have like the the same energy, yeah. same energy level. Yeah, really different, but same energy level. Yeah. So yeah, yeah that's our story time. That's how we first met. Uh, we wanted to do this special video so you guys can get to know us for yeah. Pride. Mm-hmm. We appreciate you guys tuning in, and we'll be having a lot more you know, relationship and LGBT content coming this month. So stay tuned.